Greetings. Today you will be watching a presentation on bubble and insertion sort. This presentation has been prepared by EX203 Group A3, Winner 12. The members include Mariusz Matyszewski, Evan Shu, Cameron Hijazi, and Joe DeMary. This video can be found on noatom.com. Sorting organizes data. It also allows for faster algorithms when performing these operations such as searching. For example, if you perform the sorting operation before a binary search, it'll make your search a lot easier for finding the element that you want because the list is pre-sorted. Now that we've described the usefulness of sorting in great detail, let us move on to bubble sort. Bubble sort is one of the simpler sorting algorithms. It starts at the bottom of the list, comparing the first element with the second. Now, it might seem strange as to why we choose the bottom of the list as our descriptor for the first and second elements. However, if you think of it like the name bubble, it can be compared to a soda, where carbonation bubbles from the bottom to the top. Bubble sort, as you will see, performs in a similar manner. So bubble sort swaps the positions if the second element is smaller than the first, and then continues upward comparing the new second element with the third element. It does this until it reaches the end and then it starts over. Note however that it does not have to recheck the end values because they are already sorted. Here's a good reference for how to perform the bubble sort operation. Note that it is given in pseudocode so it can be easily translated into several different languages. And now to an example of bubble sort. Given the sequence of numbers 4, 3, 6, 2, 1, 5. Let's perform bubble sort on it so that we can get this list sorted. As previously stated, we begin by comparing the first element with the second element. As we can see, 4 is greater than 3, which means that in the next step, we're going to have to switch these two numbers. With 4 and 3 switched, now I move to the second and the third element. As we can also see, 4 is not greater than 6. Now we look at the third and fourth elements, 6 and 2. Since 6 is greater than 2, we will have to switch their positions. With our fourth and fifth elements, we also conclude that we need to switch. With our last two elements, 6 and 5, we can also see that 6 is greater than 5, and we're going to have to make another switch. At this point, we've made a total of 5 comparisons. We have come back to the beginning, where we inspect the first and second element. Seeing that 3 is less than 4, we move on to the next phrase, and look at as 4 is greater than 2, which is true, so we're going to switch them. Is 4 greater than 1? Yes. Since 4 is less than 5, these numbers are already in order. Note that as previously stated, we won't have to worry if the end value, 6, is sorted, because we already, sort that it, we already sorted that earlier. Since 3 is greater than 2, we switch these. Since 3 is greater than 1, we switch these also. 3 and 4, however, stay in their positions. We look back once again to 2 and 1, and see that 2 is greater than 1. And then we note that 2 is not greater than 3, so they remain in the same position. Yeah. Finally, we look at 1 and 2, that is, our bubble is all the way at the top, and we realize that 1 is not greater than 2. This completes our bubble sort. Note that now the list is in ascending order. And now for more bubble sort info. In our best case scenario, where the list is already sorted, we have a big O of N. In our worst case scenario, bubble sort has a big O of N squared with an actual of N minus 1 times N all over 2. And then in our average case scenario, bubble sort has a big O of N squared. Another popular yet basic sorting algorithm is insertion sort. Generally, insertion sort is more efficient than bubble sort, because instead of moving each element only one spot, it inserts it into the final spot in the list. Like with bubble sort, we will provide you with some short pseudocode 
to write insertion sort. Note again that this is only pseudocode and can be easily adapted to any language. And now for an example of insertion sort. Again, we look at the same list, 436215. Once again, we begin by inspecting the first and second elements. Note that 4 is greater than 3, and these will therefore switch. We continue examining 3 by comparing it with 6. Is 6 greater than 3? Yes. This makes us move to 4 and compare it with 6. Is 6 also greater than 4? Yes. Both stay. Now we move to 2 and compare 3 with 2. Is 2 greater than 3? No. Therefore, 2 will go before 3. Having inserted 2, now we compare it with 1. Is 1 greater than 2? No. 1 is inserted before 2 and compared with 5. Is 5 greater than 1? Yes. So the 1 stays and we move to the 2. Is 5 greater than 2? It is also. As with the 3 and the 4. When we get to the 6, we realize that 5 is less than 6, and therefore these numbers will switch. This completes the sorting of our list with a total of 10 comparisons made. Note that this is 5 comparisons less than our bubble sort previous example. And now, for even more information about insertion sort. In our best case scenario, we have a big O of N. In our worst case scenario, we have a big O of N squared. This might occur, for instance, when the list is in reverse order. And our actual would be N times N plus 1 over 2 plus 1. In our average worst case scenario, we have a big O of n squared, and an actual of n squared plus 3n minus 4 all over 4. And that concludes our segment on insertion sort and bubble sort. Note, however, if you are interested in learning more about efficiency in algorithms and sorting, we recommend that you take EX281, Data Structures and Algorithms, which focuses on this. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.